guys and welcome to this brand new series idea I have called probably something that's a wrestling observer pun. I'm thinking either TW observer or total extreme wrestling observer or something I don't know yet but basically what I've done is I've loaded up the well not the normal Montreal Aftermath database as you may see and uh, we're going to be playing as our boy, Big Money Dave. There he is. Look at him in this, in this amazing <laughs> picture. <laughs> Look at all the JPEG on that. Beautiful. Um, now, as you can see, lots of potential employment opportunities because I've gone through the database and every single company has no employees. They're all vacant positions. They're all potential new owners. And also, we've also added, I've also, uh, I've done a couple of test runs for this to see how it would turn out. Spoilers. So far, if we get some of the stuff I've had so far, we're, we're in for a good time. Things get really wacky, as you probably expect. Uh, so let's, for example, I'll show you quickly, we'll go to Hayabusa. He normally has his loyalty set to FMW. I took out everyone's loyalty. So anyone can go anywhere. Because before, like Hayabusa would always go to FMW, you know, certain people would always go certain places, but now anyone can go anywhere. So I think that could be quite uh, interesting. So basically my idea for this series is we're going to, as Meltzer, as the Observer, yeah, see, it all makes sense now, we're going to document what happens in this crazy... <laughs> incredibly messed up world that we've created where I don't know if it's going to work perfectly hopefully it will, hopefully it'll be entertaining, hope you guys like it this is kind of like a sort of pilot-y kind of episode so I'm planning to do it um, every month not like every real life month, every in-game month so like we'll do a recap at the end of December, a recap at the end of January end of February, end of March you know, so on and so forth. And then, uh, maybe you guys could suggest stuff you'd like me to look at more. Because, you know, I'm going to mainly focus on Monday Night War, obviously, for kind of obvious reasons. I mean, if we look at our national battles currently... Oh, can we not open that? Because we don't have a company. Oh, no. Damn, I was hoping I could uh, look at the scores and see who the top people were. That's a shame. Anyway, so I'll come back at the end of December, and we'll have a look at what this horrifically messed up world we've created will produce for us. Hopefully some gold. Hopefully. So we'll be back then and uh, straight away for you. Not for me, but for you. Like, like I could snap my fingers and transition, but I don't have those editing skills. So I'll be back in a minute. So we're back. We're in January 1998. We've gone through our whole month so far. So as you can see, we have like some interesting news straight off the bat. The match of the year awards, because we do, we do have your end year awards sometimes. Well, we should, but you know we're not going to get the full thing with it only being a month and with no one having any employees to begin with. Let's have a look. Uh, our match of the year was Shawn Michaels defeating Brett, uh, Steve Austin, rather, in WCW. Seems normal. And uh, the show of the year was Starkey in 1997. We'll look at the cards and that in a second. Um, let's leave the titles. Let's not give ourselves uh, too many title spoilers. Let's say steal. Let's have a look. Uh, let's start from company to company and see who's the owner. So Antonio Inoki now runs um, <laughs> All Japan Pro Wrestling. Well, I certainly, I genuinely didn't see that coming. That's kind of cool. He's hired a lot of the New Japan roster. And he's made his figurehead Chono. That's cool. Uh, I don't know anything about All Japan Women's Wrestling, but that looks pretty normal. All Pro Wrestling. Main event, Star Papa Shango and Mongo McMichael. Everything's alright there. All Star Wrestling, run by, run by Paige's dad. Triple A is Francisco Luteroff. Isn't Francisco Luteroff, isn't he the guy that runs uh, CMLL? Yeah. <laughs> Alright then. Alright. Triple A's run by the guy who runs CMLL. Already we're getting good signs. Uh, Big Japan is run by Shinya Kojika. Their main star is uh, 
Oh god, Kojima. <laughs> young boy Kojima. Well, younger boy Kojima and Takamichinoku. And Otani. Holy crap. Pretty good roster, actually. It's meant to be a garbage fed. <laughs> uh, Border City Wrestling, run by... Oh god, run by my arch nemesis, Bruce Hart. They do have uh, Mr. Wrestling Free so they're not all bad. British Wrestling Federation, run by John Fremantle. I don't recognize that name. He oh he owned Premier Promotions, which will be down here somewhere. A lot of it it might be the owners just switching places with each other. Uh, Catch Wrestling Association looks pretty normal. CMLL has one employee, Carlos Colon. All right then. It's gonna be a wild stab of the door, but you've not ran any shows, have you? No. We've got EC ECWA, main event by Buff Bagwell, Kip James and Ahmed Johnson, and the Barbarian and Perry Sire. Oh my. That's all I'd made your stash. <laughs> Van Hammer. Fantastic. And they have one of the Harris twins. Because you only need one, really. These guys have just been founded. Uh, ECCW. Currently headlined by the fake Razor Ramon. Pretty good sign. ECW is run by Jerry Jarrett. Disappointingly, I don't think he's hired Jeff Jarrett. But his main events are Ken Shamrock, Triple H, The Rock, and Ahmed Johnson. Who's Scott a Scotty Anton? Oh, it's Scotty. Of course, it's Scotty Riggs. Why wouldn't it be Scotty Riggs? <laughs> this is quite the uh, roster he's assembled here. I'm disappointed he's not saying Jeff. He almost usually always does, you know, for obvious reasons. FMW with Tenzan and Takayama. Didn't Takayama actually wrestle for... I think Takayama maybe wrestled for FMW in real life. On Kojima and Nakanishi. Basically the third generation of New Japan, all in one, all in one company. That's cool. Uh, new company has just been founded... Pretty normal, except it's Brian Dixon. The Lucha ones I'm not as keen on. Well, I'm not as knowledgeable on. Eric Bischoff runs IWA Mid South with Goldberg and Sabu as his main eventers. Again, perfectly normal. And Dilo. And Hercules Hernandez and Brian Nobbs. I mean, can you really tell the difference between that and a normal one? By the way, I've just also noticed they have Shark Boy and Gurry Man. That is great. I like this company 10 out of 10. Uh, Jersey All Pro Wrestling, run by Paul Heyman. There we go. Main stars The Rock, where Rob Van Dam, Perry Saturn, Shane Douglas, Canyon, Sabu, the Cheetah Kid, <laughs> who's Rock O' Rock? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's see. Michinoku Pro is run by Ten Ryu. And did have does have Taka Michinoku, so that's something. Anything else particularly interesting? I mean, Virgil wrestles there, that's something. New Japan is run by Wada. Who did Wada? He was a... Oh, he's one of the referees from Old Japan, and he now runs New Japan. Nice. They have hired Tsuni Ono, so that's something. And Hayabusa. Well, that's cool. <laughs> um, Hammerlock... Pretty normal looking. I mean, they only have one of the UK pit bulls for some reason. Ohio Valley, run by Roland Alexander. Roland Alexander, who's that again? Oh, he was the owner of APW. So <laughs> there's a lot of swapping. Everyone like changed places. I do like this Mabel, Dilo Brown, Billy Kidman, and uh, Dennis Knight main event. Wow, what a top main event scene. I mean, Jim Kettner and Vince Russo running Omega. Night. Oh, wait, no. Um, Jeff's there, but I don't think um, the other one is. I forgot. <laughs> Matt. Jesus Christ, I forgot the other Hardy's name. <laughs> Premier Promotions looks pretty normal, except for Virgil. It's Virgil, like in every company. Promo Azteca, run by Jorge Rojas. Jorge Rojas. Oh, he's just uh, like it was a. Road agent, basically. Oh, Ray Pinheiro is working there again. This looks pretty normal, except for you. Here we go. This is where things get interesting. There we go. World Championship Wrestling, owned by Vince McMahon, 
Shawn Michaels, Sting, The Giant, Steve Austin, Master Blaster, Steel, Mark Callis, Scott Hall, I'm disappointed he's not the Diamond Stud, Ric Flair, Mick Foley, Eddie Guerrero, Owen Hart, Kurt Hennig, Scott Steiner, Raven, Animal, Steiner, the other one, Booker, Jarrett, oh Jarrett's, oh, oh, Dissension, oh, this is like shocking he didn't go with his dad's company. Let's look at some of the other names I've lowered down. Two Cold Scorpio, Shinobi, aka Al Snow. I like seeing the random uh, alter egos that you see popping up. More importantly, they have a uh, Disco Inferno. The World Wrestling Council. Main events, of course, they're run by Les Thatcher, and their main event stars Buff Bagwell. Why Why wouldn't it be Buff Bagwell and Stevie Ray? At least Savio Vega makes sense. We'll do Wrestling and Romance and go to the WWF last. Of course. Uh, Oh, sorry, Wrestle Association R. I thought it was Wrestle and Romance. For the war. Anyway. Uh, run by Misawa, obviously. Why wouldn't it be Misawa? With Tenzan, Nagata, Nishimura, Takayama. Am I figuring that right? I thought Takayama was blonde. That's like the bl dye blonde. Is that the same guy? I can't picture him with the beard. I'm sure that's the guy I'm thinking of. Uh, Yonakamaya, Nakanishi. Tani. It's actually quite a good roster, actually. And more importantly, Minoru Tanaka. So let's have a look at the World Wrestling Federation. Yes! Owned by Ted Turner. This happened in one of my tests, and I was hoping it would happen again, and it did. I mean, let's look at these big name stars. You've got Bret Hart, Randy Savage, Conan, Vader, Great Muta, and then Taz, and then Doug Furness. <laughs> And then Freddy Joe Floyd, aka Tracy Smothers, and Chicky Star, whoever that is. So a lot of these people have yet to be assigned pushes. So the real question is, how many shows have actually taken place over the past calendar month? And that's what we're going to try and find out. So, let me see. We'll go company by company. We'll do... The company's in the Monday Night War first, because that's like the most important thing going on at the moment. So, history, nothing, titles, nothing. <laughs> this is going to go so badly. Do you think, I'm seriously doubting anyone's run shows yet. Oh, oh, wait a minute, that's a TNA world title. Uh, history, nothing, history, Nothing. History. Nothing. His well, we know these guys have run a show. Oh, they've run four shows, or five shows. Let's have a look. We had uh, the big, big, big uh, WCW Nitro, where we had Ray Trailer defeating Jericho, Mark Callis defeating Scott Steiner, and Sting being Scott Hall. We had Saturday Night, where... Steiner beat for two, Raven defeat Kurt Hennig, and Foley defeat Jarrett, and an interview with McMahon got only 67, what the hell. Another Nitro, where Morpho could arrive, oh Rotundo's here, nice. Uh, Dustin Rhodes defeat Rick Steiner, Shawn Michaels defeat Steve Austin, on TV. Alright, <laughs> Scott Hall defeat DDP by DQ. Saturday night. Jericho defeat Gilberti, Eddie and Benoit defeat Ray and Smiley, Dustin defeat Shinobi, then let's go through the uh, Saturday Starcade. So we had Dustin Rhodes defeating Mark Canterbury, and Bam Bam defeating Bart Gunn on the pre-show. Pretty, pretty, that's something else, alright. Uh, Kurt Hennig defeated Ric Flair, uh, Rick Martel defeating Mike Rotundo. Bob Holly defeated Shinobi. Sting defeated Candido. That actually would be quite cool. Uh, One Man Gang and Boss Man defeat Frasher and Smiley for the tag titles. Alright then. <laughs> that's qu that's quite the impromptu team. Uh, Mick Foley defeats Pat Tanaka. Brian Lawler defeats Two Cold Scorpio to win the Cruiserweight title. Fantastic. Uh, Booker wins the TV title. With Ray. Rick Steiner wins the US Heavyweight, the Giant defeats DDP, 
Their main event, Master Blaster Steel, aka Kevin Nash, <laughs> defeats Scott uh, Steve Austin to win the WCW World Heavyweight Title. So WCW's World Champion is Master Blaster Steel. Fantastic. Uh, let's have a look at the teams. Their only team at the moment is Ray Trailer and One Man Gang. I actually kind of like that team as Ray Trailer and One Man Gang. That would have been cool. And let's keep jumping to and seeing if anyone else has ran shows. Oh, WAW ran uh, this show. Doesn't look particularly good. War, we already looked at. This one. No. OVW. Oh, OVW had uh, C.W. Anderson defeating Trailer Park Trash, Shane Helms over Trent Acid, Tex Lazinger <laughs> defeating J.C. Ice, Mabel, some guy called Michaels defeating Devon and the Vampire Warrior, and Billy Kidman defeating Lodi in the main event. Wow. All the big stars in OVW. <laughs> I hope uh, Omega ran the show. No. In the in UK. There's that. It, it, was that, I thought that guy was called Duran Duran. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed he's not called that. Uh, nothing for New Japan. Michinoku Pro? No. Jersey All Pro? Oh, here we go. This is uh, this is Paul Heyman's company. So, Mikey Ripwreck defeats Steve Skyfire. Brandy Alexander defeat Terry Powers. Damien Stone defeat Nova. Janetti and Mosh defeated the Dudley Boys. Just Janetti and Mosh, wow. Rob Van Dam defeat Chris Canyon, getting an 80, holy crap. Nice, good job Paul. Uh, let's have a look at, these guys run anything? Nope. Nope. Oh, I'm sad, uh, Eric Bischoff's IWA Mid-South didn't run anything. Oh, wait, FMW ran a few shows. So Fujita is the independent heavyweight champion. Nothing in that one. I mean, there was an 80 for a Tenzan versus Akiyama match. Damn. And uh, Takayama's the Brass Knuckles champion, by which he wins by beating the independent world. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Vegeta beats Takayama, and then Takayama defeats Vegeta for, the title, for a title each. Oh, I kind of hope they win the tag belts with each other. That would be pretty amazing if that happened. Oh god damn it, I keep closing the thing. Let's see. Just founded. ECWA, nothing. ECW, oh here we go. Hardcore TV, Triple H defeated. Shamrock and Ahmed Johnson for the world title. And I think that's Mikey Whipwreck and Bubba Dudley. Defeated Scotty Anton and Cheetah Kid for the tag title. I mean, that main event actually got a lot higher rating than you'd think. Shamrock defeating The Rock, Johnson over Whipwreck and Anton over Champagne. Triple H defeating Ken Shamrock for the heavyweight title and Mark Rocco Rock as the Cheeto Kid winning the, winning the TV title. That's something else. Oh, God damn it! every single time. So I think this first month we're not going to have much in the way of shows. ECCW War Drums won. Greg Gillies won the NWA World Heavyweight title from by beating Val Venus. All right then. I forgot about the NWA World title on that. Is it this one? No. That's what's next. It's kind of hard to keep track of where the uh, where you are alphabetically in the. Um, and then, yeah, you know. What's the phrase I'm looking for? Like in the... The acronyms. There we go. Jesus, that took far too long. So these guys had a tournament, which was run by Tony Sinclair by defeating NWA champion Greg Gillies. Or Greg Gilesy, or whatever the hell you pronounce that. Kind of disappointed he didn't win. I was hoping he would become like... I kind of... God damn it, I do that every time. I kind of hope we get random people becoming megastars. What the hell is Carlos Colon up to? That's what I want to know. When did he take over? He took over in week four. What are you doing, Carlos? 
Oh, eh. Oh, these guys have run quite a few shows. Let's see if anything interesting stands out. Da -da -da. Oh, these guys have one of the pit, uh, the UK pit bulls. Was that their company? I think it was. No, nothing. Nothing too crazy there. Oh god damn it, every single time. Because there's slightly different orders in this list, obviously, with it being the acronyms. Let's see, Border City Wrestling. Oh, they did Survivor with Adam Copeland winning the Can Am Heavyweight, Landstorm winning the Television. That's pretty cool. Azteca, nothing. All Star Wrestling UK. They've probably done a crap ton, I was going to say. Yeah, they've got a huge roster by the looks of it. So, Stevie, wow, Stevie Knight. I wonder why he won this title on this Roy Knight booked promotion. Or <laughs> Ricky Knight, rather. I don't even know if Stevie Knight's one of his kids or not. No, it's not. It's not he's not even related to him. God damn it. He, he's just, he just like, I like your surname. You're going to win a title. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we have. Wolfgang, aged like 18, is a, is a double champion. Because why not? Uh, Zebra Kid, there we go. There's what I was hoping for. Zebra Kid wins wins two titles as well, because again, why not? Uh, Karl McGrath is a champion, Donna Marie. How many title belts does this company have? Jesus Christ. Oh my. So the British heavyweight is this guy, British light heavyweight, British middleweight, British tag team, British women's, European lightweight, European middleweight, and world middle, mid heavyweight. You know, completely normal. History at APW Christmas Chaos, Scott Putsky defeated Madonna's boyfriend. Oh my god, I didn't notice he was under Ma Louis Piccoli, he was under his Madonna's boyfriend thing. <laughs> cutie Pie? <laughs> That's amazing, I've never heard of a Cutie Pie. That's, that is genuinely amazing, I, li I like Cutie Pie. <laughs> oh, I hope he starts working somewhere as Cutie Pie. I can have a hope. Oh shit, also bloody Max Payne works for them. AKA Van Ham. Not Van Hammer, uh, Man Mountain Rock. Oh wow, these guys have ran quite a few shows. I'm surprised they didn't win promotion of the year so by default. Uh, Azure Kong is their only champion at the moment, which is pretty realistic. I actually think she probably was the holder of that title. Here we go. Well, the junior heavyweight. Well, they've really, really, they've only done the junior heavyweight title. They gave it to Sasuke. Now I'm going to do the world title and put it on Chono. Also, Chono's your figurehead, so he loses to Hashimoto and then draws with Anita. Good job. Good job, Antonio. So let's have a look. The thing that really interests me at the moment is who's still unemployed. So let's look for... The well-known people. Adam Sandler, obviously. I left all the user characters on because I thought it'd be funnier. Uh, Chuck Norris. Davy Boy Smith, still available. Dennis Rodman. Let's shortlist some of these people so we get info when they get hired. Kane. I don't know why I didn't realise Gorgeous George was even in the day. Uh, still no signings. No effort for Hogan, that's surprising. Luger. Hawk. So the signed animal, but not Hawk. Tyson. I wonder if anyone will sign Tyson. Stallone. Sid. Rupert Murdoch and Roddy Piper. Let's go down a level. Right, well, what we really want is we want... Um, uh, I suppose we just want wrestlers, really. BG James, who's moved to Japan. Build them up, good. Brian Adams, that's probably because he's on absence. Yokozuna, he's on hiatus. So is Terry Gordy, no one signed. Tatonka, Terry Funk, Sean Waltman, he's injured, I suppose. Rick Rude, Bundy, Kamala, Tenta, Nord, Snuka, Duggan, Jake Roberts. I mean, there are a lot of big names. Still have Dan Severn. Why is no one signed him? I want to hire him, even though I'm not playing the game. <laughs> and Chavo. Oh, no one's hired Chavito. That makes me sad. 
So I think that's everything I want to cover each month. That's kind of the most popular people are. So like, the most popular hired wrestler is currently Sting and then Brett. I think, oh well, yeah, well look at how the national battles went. I assume WCW won by default, yeah. Regional to UK was run by the BWF. I've never really, I've never really paid attention to this bit before. So how many folk? There's only 734 eligible workers in the U.S. Hmm. I mean, you look at like, I suppose there's only a thousand in the world. Just you know, Mexico has so much more. Oh no, it doesn't. Chop. Never mind. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this first episode. If you have any feedback of what you'd like me to do. Hopefully, this time next month. Oh, WCW have signed Ron Harris. Where's Don Harris? That's the that's the key issue here. Wait, I need to find out where the Harris twins are. Oh my God, they're split up. Oh, how will they cope on, on their own? That's like a, that's one of the big stories I think we're gonna have to cover. Oh, jump the NWO Sting is going to the WWF as well. Fantastic. Hopefully, as we progress more through it, I think it'll be better. As more stuff kind of goes on. So if you like this episode, give it a like, like big old Dave there at the side, giving it the big old thumbs up. Look, there he is. He's like, yeah. That's what you should be like, hopefully. If you have any like suggestions of like what I could look at each month, or if you you know like this series, or if you think it's a piece of crap, don't tell me if you think it's a piece of crap, because I I quite like it and I think it could be quite fun looking at some of the sillier stuff. I think it's something that'll become more fun the further like it goes into it. So like you know, as more as the rosters fill up more and more like bloody Carlos never hire anyone alone, Jesus Christ. <laughs> also we can maybe do a little bit of who do you think is gonna shut down first? Who do you think is going to win the WCW WWF war? Do you think it's going to be Ted Turner's WWF? Or do you think it's going to be Vince McMahon's WCW? That's such a bizarre sentence. I mean, do we have any figureheads? That's another thing, too. Because a lot of them will set figureheads. So let's see. Let's see who you guys think. Uh, the only figureheads, Chono and Del Santo. So probably WWF and WCW will set one. So I'd quite like to see who you think it'll probably be. I think it's going to be Master Blaster Steel, and probably, probably Doug Furness. <laughs> Why is Doug Furness that eye up the card? Jesus Christ, Doug Furness is a mid-carder. Well, that's believable, but you know. I mean, I suppose they only have this many in-ring people at this point. And they have all these ones coming out. Who's Uncle Cleus? Oh my god, they just re-signed TL Hopper. The, these guys are my pick to win now. Now they have TL Hopper, and Phil LaFon, and Doug Furness. That's it, this this is over. WWF are going to win. That's my prediction. But anyway, I hope you guys um, like this. If you did, give it like a like. Give comment suggestions of like what stuff you'd like to see covered each month. You know, what sort of stuff, like, because, you know, I don't know everything necessarily that we could look at, like, the NWA titles I didn't look at at all. I just realised that. I mean, we saw Greg Gillies had won the NWA title, but, you know. Lovely. I think as well there's a way you can do, like, a world calendar thing where you can view all the shows that have happened. And I can't for the life of me remember how you do it. So, if that is a thing you can do, please tell me. <laughs> So I can look at it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.